Once everything's in the cloud, there's nothing to maintain, right? Wrong. Microsoft 365 generates alerts just like your servers do. So who's watching them? Is Microsoft going to call you about your alerts on their system? No. And that's what this video is about, maintaining Microsoft 365. I'm Wayne Chapin, president of Zerillion, a six-time Microsoft Gold cloud solutions provider. I'm a Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate in Office 365 and Microsoft Azure, and I'm a Microsoft Partner Cloud Solutions Architect known as a PCSA in the Microsoft Partner world. My educational background is computer science, and most importantly, myself along with my team of 16 in Zerillion have designed, migrated, and maintained thousands of users on Microsoft 365, Microsoft Azure, and the Microsoft Phone system. I'm going to cover real-world IT management inside Microsoft 365, and I'm going to take you on a mindset transition from on-premise server admin to cloud service admin, and I'm going to show you how Zerillion maintains Microsoft 365 as part of our Confident Cloud Advantage managed services when we do it for our clients, and I'm going to take you on a live demo in each part of our process. Let's start with what a traditional server admin does on a computer network. They repair server hardware, they update hardware firmware, they update and upgrade server software, they manage backups and disaster recovery, they manage firewalls and VPNs. Server admins deal with hard drive failures, power supply failures, blue screens, server hardware refreshes, server software updates and upgrades. And to deal with those potential failures, they've got to build in all this kind of extensive redundancy in the system. They have to have redundant host servers for their virtual machines. They have to have redundant hard drives, redundant power supplies, redundant cooling fans, redundant backup power, redundant backups on-site and off-site. And then they have big, expensive refresh projects every five years. And what does this create? It creates a lot of stress. Now let's look at what a cloud service admin deals with. There's no hardware to set up, manage, or repair. There's no server software to update or upgrade. You get a 99.9% .9 uptime SLA for Microsoft, which means approximately no more than 45 minutes of downtime in a month, or you get a 10% refund from Microsoft. And there's no such thing as a cloud service refresh project ever. And I tell people that all the time. Once we've moved your systems into the cloud, we're done. We're not going to do this again in five years. So then what do you maintain in Microsoft 365? You maintain the tenant. The tenant in Microsoft 365 equals Microsoft's cloud services and your data. Now I want to conceptualize what a Microsoft 365 tenant might look like if I could put it on your network. Now here on the left we have what a typical network looks like when we talk to a prospective client for the first time. They usually have gotten their email moved up into Office 365 so they're already sitting there with Exchange Online and then they have the Office desktop apps for each one of their users. They got that part done but they still have a domain controller or domain controllers. They have a file server. They are interested in OneDrive and SharePoint, but they can't quite figure out how to make that work. They'll have a backup. Rarely will they have a disaster recovery system. And they may have a business application that is Windows-based, kind of a legacy application. And then they'll have a remote desktop server, i.e. a terminal server, on their network for remote access. So this is a very typical system. Now, if I could take Microsoft 365, the tenant, and put it on your network, the way I would do it is I would take this huge blade server enclosure, this very expensive blade server enclosure, and I would put it in a rack, and then I would have all these individual blade servers here. And they would be running things like Azure Active Directory Server, Exchange Server, SharePoint Server, Team Server, Skype for Business Server, Intune Server, OneDrive Server, Azure Information Protection Server, Planner Server, Microsoft Defender ATP Server. I think you get the idea. And I'm not kidding about this point here. There's going to be a section when I go through the demo, I, it lists every single service that's in your subscription that you're running, just like they were servers on your network. But I'm going to take it a step further. It doesn't just stop here if I could conceptualize this as a piece of hardware, servers, and software. Microsoft 365 then replicates your data to two other data centers throughout the United States. You don't have that going on over here. And I'll also say, by the way Microsoft 365 works in the cloud, backups are covered by retention policies, and disaster recovery is built in by the nature of how Microsoft 365 works. So back when disaster recovery systems, i.e. this thing, is not even needed. With Microsoft 365, I want to shift your thinking from maintaining servers to maintaining cloud services. From logging in to servers to logging in to portals. Maintaining Microsoft 365 is a process just like maintaining any other IT system. At a high level, on a single page, 
Maintaining Microsoft 365 is just like this. Number one, you log into portals in a sequence. Number two, you review alerts and notifications. Number three, you analyze. Do we have a real problem? Then create a remediation ticket. Was it a false positive? Then create a tweak ticket so you don't get these false positives in the future tying up IT resources. Was the alert auto-remediated? Or can we set this alert to be auto-remediated in the future so we don't tie up IT resources? Or do we just dismiss the alert? Once we've made our tickets, when we did our Microsoft 365 checks, then we begin to work the tickets. And from there, we repeat the process on a monthly, bi-weekly, weekly basis. Maintaining Microsoft 365 requires a modern approach to IT maintenance. And maintaining Microsoft 365 requires new IT skills. A key requirement of IT management is keeping user production high. And in a Microsoft 365 cloud service world, keeping IT services and phones online and highly available that's up to Microsoft. Keeping client computers online, highly available, stable, and secure, that's up to you. And keeping data safe, and I'm talking about your mailboxes, your business apps and databases, important files like your sales list, marketing metrics, HR legal documents, financial reports, that's up to you. All of that stuff are the things that we manage in our managed service product, the Confident Cloud Advantage, which is Aurelian's unlimited flat rate managed IT service product for Microsoft 365. It's unlimited user help desk, unlimited end user training, unlimited Microsoft 365 cloud service maintenance, which is what we're talking about here in this video, cloud service alert remediation, monthly IT meetings, and annual CIO IT vision planning for your company. If that sounds like something you'd be interested to talk to us about, our contact information is below, 847-995-9800, or send us an email at support and we'd be happy to set up a time to talk to you. With that being said, it's demo time. Now, before we get into the demos, I have a question for you. Did you set up Microsoft 365 right in the first place? And here's what setting up Microsoft 365 right in the first place means to us at Zerillion. We have a project process called the Microsoft 365 Transformer to move somebody's emails, files, security, and management into the Microsoft 365 system and a project product called the Microsoft Phone Transformer to get people's phone system moved over to the Microsoft Phone System. Now, in a nutshell, this is what it looks like to us to properly set up Microsoft 365. Number one, all computers should be running the latest build of Windows operating system and Office Pro Plus. Number two, you need to have OneDrive installed, Microsoft Intune, and Windows Defender installed on each one of the computers. Number three, all computers would be joined to Microsoft Intune and Azure Active Directory with a configuration profile. Number four, all users should be enrolled in multi-factor authentication and have at least a basic conditional access policy set up. Number five, of course, emails and files migrated. And then six, set up the Microsoft 365 management and security stack. Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection, Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection, Cloud App Security, Azure Information Protection, and Azure Active Directory Identity Protection, all configured. If you've set up all those things, you did it right. And now we can move on to the Microsoft 365 maintenance process. Here is the Microsoft 365 maintenance process on a single slide. Nine different systems, 44 checks. If you were a Zerillion engineer and you were looking at this, you would see this as a ticket template. So each one of these check boxes is in the ticket and you have to check through each one of those. And you're only trying to identify problems. You're not identifying and remediating. If you're trying to identify and remediate at the same time, you'll never get through this process. You gotta give yourself at least two hours to get through this. Again, just to run through each one of the systems, do the reviews and find things that tickets need to be created for and remediated. And then remediate and work on those tickets as part of your normal support process outside of the systems review and maintenance. But with that in mind, let's get into Zerillion's Microsoft 365 maintenance process live demo. So here's everything in one slide. Nine systems, 44 individual checks. And here's a couple pointers I would say. Schedule two hours for each maintenance session. Don't plan on remediating any issues during that time. Just analyze for problems or tweaks or configuration changes you need to do in the services. And then work those tickets as part of your normal support routine. 
go light in the beginning as far as making tickets. Don't get too overzealous as far as making a bunch of tickets in one portal. It's just going to demoralize you and it's going to be tough to get through the system. And get up to speed on one portal and one part of the system at a time. And I'm talking about spending a month getting familiar, doing the checks inside of Microsoft 365 Message Center, Azure Active Directory Premium, that's a big one. Microsoft Intune, Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. Start there, one at a time. I'm not kidding about this number when I say be prepared to spend 30 to 40 hours understanding each service as you go. This is a long effort, okay? But this is the system. It is a much more robust, sophisticated system than you ever had on premise. Tools are incredibly powerful. For example, a Microsoft 365 E5 system is $57.50 per user per month and you get all of this systems around emails and files and then all this security and management stack it's just crazy an E3 system is $32 per user per month but do E5 if you can for sure that, that's got everything and that is a proper system and then the only thing you're going to be left with are your Windows applications that get moved up into Microsoft Azure if your business applications don't happen to be web portals things like that this is very different IT work than you're used to but this is modern IT work with an enterprise cloud system. That's an important point to remember. So if you're still with me this far into the video, I want to outline what your next steps would be in order as I would rank them. Number one, all computers would be running the latest build of Microsoft Windows 10 operating system and Office 365 Pro Plus desktop apps as a foundation. Got to get that software updated across all of your computers. Number two, all computers would be Azure Active Directory domain joined. Number three, all users would be protected with multi-factor authentication in Azure Active Directory. Number four, all computers would be enrolled in Microsoft Intune and have the Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection Sensor installed. Number five would be the training. And I will put links to starter training for each one of these items here, but I ranked them in order of importance. Azure Active Directory Identity Protection, Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection, Microsoft Intune, Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection, Cloud App Security, and Azure Information Protection. And number six, I would first implement Azure Active Directory Identity Protection, then Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection. Azure Active Directory Identity Protection, it is the, the gateway to your cloud services. It is your cloud firewall, and it is keeping the bad people out of your system and making sure the good people are the ones getting in. And Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection is going to be one of your first lines of defense that's going to be batting away threats against your emails and files. And the payoff for all of this is a quiet, stable, secure computer network with the most advanced system that Microsoft makes. High user production for your company and no more system refresh projects ever. And this is what I tell people all the time. When you move into a Microsoft 365 system, we're not going to be doing this again in five years. We're not going to be refreshing hardware. We're not going to be patching and updating and upgrading software. All of that's behind you. Now you just got to maintain the system. And remember, you've got this. And if this gives you some direction to build your own Microsoft 365 maintenance plan, excellent. Except in the beginning that you're going to feel overwhelmed, but just keep working through it. Remember, as I said before, dedicate an hour and a half. Just take your phone, set the timer for an hour and a half, and work through those links in the description to get you started. And do it in the evening, away from work, away from the distractions, so you can really focus. And when that timer goes off, you'll know you've put in an hour and a half of time. A week has gone by, you've put in three or four of those sessions, and you're, you're really getting somewhere. And just keep working through the system. And after you've done that for six months or 12 months, you're going to be amazed at how far you've come and being able to manage this system. Keeping the lights on IT work is old school IT. That's IT for 20 years ago. Modern enterprise cloud-based systems where Microsoft manages the hardware and the software and they just keep throwing in new features into the system that you can take and then bring over to your company. That's modern IT work. That's high value IT work. And lastly, if you want to talk to us about putting Microsoft 365 inside of your company, let's talk. We're a six-time Microsoft Gold Tier 1 Cloud Solution Provider. We sell and service Microsoft Cloud subscriptions, and there's a little note there that we only service clients that we are the subscription reseller. We are a much better experience than an enterprise agreement or working with Microsoft Direct. If you're in an enterprise agreement, imagine this. You're a company with 250 employees, and you have an enterprise agreement, and you are at the very bottom rung with Microsoft. What do you think that experience is going to be like? And also you have to prepay on an annual basis for all your consumption. With a cloud solution provider model like us, you don't pay any extra and it's monthly. 
add subscriptions, remove subscriptions, and it's a much better experience. Also, if you're working with Microsoft Direct, you're going to have a much better experience working with us as well. We're going to be able to guide you a lot better than just calling into the first level support with Microsoft. We also have a premier direct technical support relationship that is even higher and we spend substantially on than the general partner support and that's because we are a tier one cloud solution provider. Lastly, if you want us to get you set up and you want to take over the management, fantastic. But also, if you want us to do all of the management and supporting your users with an unlimited help desk, unlimited system remediation, end user training, monthly IT management calls, and virtual CIO planning, which is what I do, you can talk to us about that too. That's our confident cloud advantage. So finally, remember this. Microsoft 365 is the most advanced system that Microsoft has ever made, but it does require maintenance. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.